Hey, this is a fisherman here. We're just going to show you a little bit about the uh, freshwater and saltwater lures and how to work them in the daytime. Okay, so here we got uh, some saltwater lures. Uh, we got for early in the morning and fishing the weeds, you got the Johnson Sprite weedless spoon. Just throw it towards the grass, not exactly in the grass, on the edge of them. Slowly spin it, fast spin it. Uh, this is a good lure for uh, shallow waters. Uh, if you want to go a little bit deeper, you want to go with the original Johnson Sprite. With the uh, red eye dot sight on it. Uh, you see this one has definitely caught some fish all beat up. Johnson Sprite. Um... Now we got a crab. This has been an awesome lure that uh, FWC has improved for us. This lure, I've hooked on to so many fish with this lure. It's unbelievable. Um, you want to work this lure around oyster beds for redfish. Uh, give it a couple taps early in the morning. Maybe bouncing off the bottom. Um, if you're going for tarpon, of course, just go out in that big blue water, chuck it out there, go reel it in, it's like candy to them. Uh, that's a good one of my favorites. Then we have the, uh, Bill Durant Sexy Shad. It's a, just a shiny crankbait running through the water. Uh, I've caught redfish, nook, I've even caught bass off of this lure. It's just an easy crankbait. Just slowly reel it in, jerk it a couple times, and that'll give it that shine back and forth. And they just, fish can't resist it. Then if you're fishing real, real shallow water where there's a lot of oyster beds, you want to go with the top water. Uh, Bombers is my favorite. Uh, just bounce it. It's never going to go up under the water. Float on top of the water. Give it a couple jerks. Same with any other lure. Then we have the tarpon and snook lure. This lure is potentially for trolling from the back of the boat. Just chuck it out there slowly. Just troll with it. It'll look like a big finger mullet or a ladyfish just going through the water. Shining red and white. Looks like, Makes it look like it's bleeding. It's a real good lure. Then... We have the saltwater gulp. This is actually one of my favorites for snook and redfish. You want to have uh, like a, a two and a half inch uh, jig head on. Yellow, white, red. I use all colors. Hook it kind of through the middle of the gulp. And just slowly bounce it off the bottom with that scent. And a lot of times what a lot of people like to do. It spray some of this uh, gulp live shrimp on it, and it just gives it just that extra flavor. Um, another one we got here is this uh, albino white uh, swim shad, and it just imitates of like a little white bait or a little pinfish. You can see as as it's moving backwards, the gills pop out. It just slowly goes through the water as that red tail is running through. And, I mean, like, this is another one of them lures that them fish could just not. They just can't stand it. They have to hit it. Um, This is kind of like a gulp. I really like this one because it's easy to work, shallow, deep, uh, grassy, rocky, any kind of points or waters. It's just, an, it's, I've caught bass, I've caught snook, I've caught redfish. This is just an awesome lure. Um, we have a couple of these top waters. This is the older looking top water. Awesome for in the morning working around the mangroves. Uh, imitate, it imitates like a, I guess kind of like a pinfish or something on top of the water. Did them snook just go crazy? Then we get into the mirror lures. Y'all guys all heard of the mirror lures. You guys all know how it works. 
This one isn't potentially my favorite because it's not a glass minnow mirror lure. Um, I've caught a couple small game fish off it, like ladyfish and trout. But my ultimate favorite one is this bad boy right here. It's uh, made for a greenback. It's got that shine in it. I've caught redfish, snook, trout, sheep's head. I've caught any saltwater fish off of this. They just love it. Um, we have this meal lure. Awesome for redfish. Cast it up in the weeds, top water. It's got these little propellers on it that just drives the fish crazy. Stop it every now and then. It'll sink. Uh, move it back and forth. It's got a gold plate in it that shines. It's just one of another good lure that Mirror Lure made. This is the Mirror Lure that imitates a finger mullet. This lure right here is one of the best lures I've seen Mirror Lure make. It's just an awesome production that they have made. It's got the gold plate. It's got three prong hooks. Perfect size. I mean, sinks can stay on top water, just red eyes, <coughs> just everything. Works works awesome. Um, then you got the regular shrimp. <coughs> Made my gulp and trigger X. Like I said, it's just got that scent. It's throwing a little jig head out there. Looks like a normal shrimp. We got some gulp. Uh lures here too. Same difference. Uh, what I like to normally go for with, uh, snook and tarpon is when you're fishing the shallow waters, you always want to gear up with some 50-pound test. <coughs> <coughs> some 50-pound test. Um, mainly for, <coughs> uh, mainly for... Uh, just their gills, how sharp their gills are, they're just, they just, they, they just don't cut it. I haven't had one snook or tarpon cut me off with this yet, so I'm going to continue using this. It's always good to have leaders with you. Um, also, you want to keep your fish healthy and safe, and an easy way to grab them is these boca grips. You just... You have the fish on the side of the boat, you reach down there, you grab it, pick it up, you can weigh it, hold it. Awesome thing to carry. <coughs> also, make sure you have your pair of two prong needle no pliers. Uh, just to get the hooks out of the fish's mouth. All that stuff. <coughs> and that's pretty much it for salt water today. Uh, this is Fisherman. We'll be back later for some freshwater tips. Thank you and have a nice day.